Hey everyone, how's it going? Solomon Christ here with another video. This one is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed, um, you know, creating the actual automation. Uh, so many of you have probably been seeing, you know, all these AI slide uh, generation tools that are available out there. And, you know, I'm sitting out there and I'm like, okay, you know what? I got to make me one of these because I know N8N is so powerful that it could actually do that. And so in this video, we're actually going to go over the steps that are required to actually create an actual AI generated slide machine. So check out this flow. This is so cool. Watch this. I can give it anything that I want to actually create a presentation on. So um, create a presentation on making tea. And all I have to do is just hit enter and it's now going to go ahead and it's going to start using, you know, chat GPT and AI to generate the slides and the slide points. And then afterwards, it's actually going to go out to actual um, Google slides and it's going to now generate every single slide. And I can actually determine how many slides I wanted to create and also, you know, a uh, basic idea of the information I want to see. And I could choose from three different styles or I can even make my own. And look at that. It generated this entire thing for me just with the power of AI and sending a chat message. So if that's your cup of tea, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So let's actually go deep into, you know, how this automation works here. So the first thing that we're doing is we're actually getting a chat message. And so that's a chat message node. You can actually just uh, click on chat right here and uh, you'll get a chat trigger right there. That's the one you want. And it's literally, you just open up your chat and you can actually type in anything. From there, what's going to happen is we need to actually connect up our Google Slides. Now, if you don't have your Slides account connected, you need to connect up your entire Gmail and Google Drive system. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this, you know, drop down and you're going to be clicking on create new credential. You can actually click on the open docs uh, and you can actually see how to do this here. Specifically, what we're going to be doing is you're going to be going to Google Cloud Console. And then on the left side here, you're going to see a lot of different things that are going on. Specifically, we need an API. So you're going to click on API services. All right. And you're going to be clicking on credentials. Now, what we're trying to do specifically is we're trying to get to an OAuth2 client ID. And so to do that, you're going to have to click on create credentials here. And you're going to be selecting the OAuth client ID. Once you click on that, you're going to see application type here. You want to select web application. Now, if you don't see this, chances are you just have to set up your account. That could be adding in billing and all that information there because it may actually um, run up certain fees. But for the most part, I've never really had to pay, you know, for the actual access. However, if you start using it a lot, you will have to pay. All right. And then you're going to name it whatever you want. In this case here, you probably want to name it like N8N access or something like that. So at least you know what it is. And then once you get that set up, you're going to see here the authorized redirect URLs or URIs. You're going to click on add URI and inside of your actual N8N, you're going to click to copy this OAuth redirect URL and then you're going to paste that in here. And then you click on create. After that, you're going to see your client ID and your client secret. Make sure that you actually click on these because that's what you're going to need. So I'm going to click on my client ID and I'm going to go over here and you're going to paste that in. All right. And then client secret, once again, you're going to copy your client secret from here. And then you're going to go back inside of here. You're going to click on client secret. All right. So now from here, what's going to happen is we're still not done. We have to actually sign in with Google. And so you're going to click on sign in with Google and uh, you're probably going to see this screen. So just click on the advanced button there and then click on go to, you know, whatever it says. And then from there, you want to give access to everything that it's actually asking you. And now you're connected. All right. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a presentation and the operation is create. Okay. So that's what this uh, actual node does. And then you just give it a title. So you can actually name it whatever you want. I just call it AI generated slide deck, but you can name it anything you like. The next thing is an edit or set uh, node. And we're just going to, you know, set up the number of slides that we want. So you could change this to anything. I mean, if you want to do a hundred slides, it'll take a little bit longer, but you could do that. Or if you want to just do 10 slides up to you, totally up to you. And that, that's the nice thing is there's no limit to, you know, what you're doing here. And now comes the next part. And it's an interesting part here is we're going into our AI agent. Now, specifically, um, we're using chat GPT, uh, G, you know, GPT 3.5 turbo, uh, but it's, it's a simple prompt. And it says, uh, you're an AI presentation builder given the topic 
And so the topic is literally from the chat message. So uh, create a presentation about um, how rain is formed via condensation. Okay, you learn this in science class and so on. So there we go. It's going to run through that there. All right, so as you can see here, uh, it picked up that chat message there. All right, so create a presentation. And as you can see, that's the given topic. And then a slide count of 10. So in this case, this is from our actual, you know, edit field. And so you could actually see that. And uh, it says generate a slide by slide breakdown of slide titles and bullet points in JSON format. All right. Each slide should contain a title, a subtitle, and at least five detailed bullet points. And then the format that we're expecting it to output is exactly like this. So title, subtitle, bullets. Okay, that's it. And so now that goes into ChatGPT as, as well. And the next step is it's now going to get cleaned up inside of the code because chances are it came out as like an output. And so we need to make this into JSON. And so that's what this little piece of code does is it takes it, it parses it as JSON, and then it literally just returns it back as JSON uh, slide data. So you see title, subtitle, bullets for each slide. All right, and it's all there, which is great. But now what I need to do is um, if it doesn't do that, if it has an error, well, then I'll tell it to go back again. Now, this is really interesting is uh, inside of N8N, there's something called a run index. So if it has to do this more than two times, well, then it didn't work out correctly. And so I actually make it quit at that point. All right. But you could actually do that using run index. It'll tell you how many times this specific node has run. So it's a very powerful command. All right. So if it, if it, you know, hits an error and if it, if it actually hits false, it'll do that up to twice and then it'll kind of like quit the entire app. All right. So now comes the fun stuff. Okay. It's now found 10 slides. And now what we need to do is to each slide, we need to add in an additional item. And so at the top left of these generated slides is a little message. You could put down anything you want. I put in nen.io and solomonchrist.com, but you could put in whatever you want as your business name or information. All right. So in this case here, that's how I designed the slides, but you can design slides any way you'd like. You just have to use things like perplexity and Claude to actually, you know, design the actual JSON. And um, it, it's actually um, a Google Slides co uh, code script, but uh, the JSON and the system that does it. But uh, once you actually get that right, you're going to be coming inside of here. You're going to be checking out where it's located. One of the keys I want you guys to remember, especially when you're designing these slides, is that inches, one inch is equal to 72 points. All right. That's going to be very useful when you're designing this stuff here and you got to get, you know, deeper and, and that'll come up after. But in any case, uh, the logo name, that's what's shown at the top left. All right. And then, of course, you got your bullet subtitle and title. So I basically added on to every one of these, uh, you know, JSON uh, slides. All right. The next step is actually creating the slide. All right. So I already know the, you know, the Google information um, from my previous um actual uh node so i know what my actual google slides id is all right however uh you know the actual uh, google slides node in n8n doesn't have the capability to do these next steps which is creating the slide and so on so in this case here we do all right and what we're doing is we're actually grabbing the slide uh, id all right so you're going to see here the url uh the url itself is uh, slides.googleapis.com forward slash v1 forward slash pre pre presentations. And then I get the presentation ID from that previous node. All right, there it is. I just drag it in and we're doing a batch update. All right, and so that's what it's going to do is it's going to create that and boom. So now we know that we're editing that specific new uh, slide, Google slide that you created. And now the next thing here is the JSON data. This is the custom slide that I created. Okay, and I've got several slides that I had made, but what you're going to do is, uh, and there's, there's a lot here for this slide, but um, this is custom code. And uh, what's going to happen is uh, you can actually feed this into like ChatGPT or Perplexity or some of the other ones, and it'll help you to design any slide. So I created three different slide types. If you just want a basic generic slide, well, this is the one here, and it's a lot shorter, as you can see. Uh, you know, you've got basically you create a slide. Uh, the slide um, object ID, every single piece of this slide, every object inside of here 
has to has, uh, have its own ID. All right. That's the way it is. So every one of these is named differently. All right. So that's why at the end of the day, when you're looking here, I put slide underscore run index. Every single time it runs, it increments that. So it'll be zero, then one and two and so on. So they're always going to be unique. All right. But in this case here, in a very basic slide, I might have a title um, with the title box. This is the positions. And remember, I was telling you uh, the actual uh, point size. 72 points is equal to one inch. So when I actually come over here and let's say I want to find out where this is, um, I can get my size and position just by doing this here. So um, the size here is 2.78 um, is the width. So if I actually like, let's say pull up a calculator, let's pull up a calculator here. And so 2.78 times 72. So that's 200 approximately. So then over here inside of my code, I would put 200 as the width. Right, so that now tells you the width. You do the same thing with the height, and then also the position, the X and the Y, it's the exact same thing, because inside of Google Slides, it actually puts it in as um, in inches. But yeah, once you put this inside of like um, ChatGPT, you can ask it to you know generate this code, but for different types of slides. So if you look at like slides that you like, or maybe you get a graphic artist to help you out, or you go to some graphic artist AIs and have them create like the perfect slide and what it would look like, then you could actually run this code into ChatGPT and say, okay, create for me slides that look like this. And so now, you know, you get some really nice looking slides, but it's much more, you know, extensive. So you do need to kind of like go through this code here. But once you can figure this out, you can build any type of slides you want. All right. So now, um, once that's done, it will generate it. And we wait about five seconds because, um, you know, Google, if it keeps on getting, you know, uh, request, it's going to die out and it's going to say too many requests. So we put a five second delay and that's it. It just loops over that. And once it's done, we get a really nice set of slides here. And this is how it looks, right? And, uh, you know, this came out nice. I'll show you the other one now. So I'm going to plug in the other one. Uh, here we go. So to plug in the other one, I just have to move this guy over. This is the other one, which I had, and you can just now, um, you know, just duplicate this and you can actually go in and create different styles. Right, so if you have a certain set of styles you want to do, you could do that. Uh, so watch this. I'll be like, okay, um, create a presentation on how to use an iPhone. All right, there we go. So now it's going to do that there for us here. Let's do that. All right, and we'll just wait there. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. Introduction to using an iPhone. All right. And I didn't have to, you know, create anything. It's all done and it follows everything that I need. And it's got a nice little, um, you know, visual here. This has got like green hues and so on. It's a nice little basic one. But I mean, look at that, you know, and you think about all the different like systems out there that are actually, some of them are charging like a good 50 to a hundred dollars. Now, of course, some of them have, you know, much nicer slides, but the fact that we can actually do this creating a presentation fast. And now you can actually design your own slides with a little bit of like, um, you know, uh, code there. But the point is we now have this and you can do this with N8N the power of N8N. It's, it's just incredible every single time. And there you have it. You know, it's a, uh, it's an incredible, incredible workflow there. Uh, and it'll save you time and money. It'll get you up and running. And, uh, you know, if you are interested in learning more about AI automations, how you can build this stuff and being part of the overall AI community, I urge you to join my school community. Also join the N8N community and be part of the actual, um, you know, overall community of AI automators. So thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.